Since we know that the salt water is a good conductor of electricity, but is a solid salt itself is a good conductor of electricity? Let's find out. So I have connected a bulb with a Siemens and keeps one side open so that we can connect our sample. Let's see if this rock salt is a good conductor of electricity. The bulb don't blows, it means a solid rock of a salt is not conductor of electricity. It will be considered as a bad conductor of electricity. But when it gets dissolved in water, sodium and chlorine atoms separates under the influence of water molecules as they are free to move around water as positive and negative charge. These charges are responsible for the conduction of electricity. So what if we freeze the water, will it still conduct the electricity? So I am going to conduct an experiment to see the result. At first I have freezed a tap water and placed an iron nail to connect the wires. Similarly, I am preparing an ice with the salt water. These sticks will hold the nails. I am marking the eye slabs so that it don't get mixed. Here I have made a three eye slabs. Tap water, salt water and the distilled water. So at first I tested the distilled ice. As expected it don't conducts electricity still it leaks a small amount of currents it's strong enough to give us a shock let's see the conductivity of the salt ice It conducts electricity as the salt water does. Due to the resistance, the ice was getting hot. Eventually, the nail comes off. I always remove the plug before connecting the ice to avoid the electric shock. Now let's test our final sample, the tap water. The tap water conducts electricity but it's not good enough to glow the 100 watt bulb. 
So the conclusion is the salt ice conducts electricity as the liquid does. Okay, hope you like this video and sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.